What is up guys, so today I've decided to hit up the Paris catacombs. Unfortunately, I'm only going to go to the illegal ones for now, because I don't have enough information on the illegal ones yet, but it should be decent anyway, so let's go guys. Inside the Paris Catacombs. Surely the bones can't be much further down now, guys. We've been walking for like 10 minutes, so. We have found the bones. Wow. It's pretty insane to think that each of these would have once been an individual person. There's so many more bones down here than I thought there would be, but I guess there are like six million people buried down here. The way the bones are laid out down here is amazing. Some parts just feel like a giant jigsaw puzzle. That skull is pretty creepy. decided now that I am going to be going through the illegal part of the catacombs. I think I'll be doing that tomorrow. It's way too late to do it today, so I'll see you tomorrow, guys. By the time I finished up in the Paris catacombs, I didn't have enough time or information to get to the illegal entrance. So I headed back to my Airbnb and started to do some planning. What is up guys, so I'm back at my Airbnb and I've just started planning tomorrow's trip to the catacombs. So big shout out to this guy Keith here, he's basically given me the maps for the catacombs. I've also got a rough location as to where the entrance is. I'm going to need a good few hours of planning, see where we're going to go, see how much we're going to do. I will see you tomorrow guys, let's go. So I headed off to the catacombs with food, water, maps, old clothes and torches. And it wasn't long before we arrived. We are here guys. Let's go and find the entrance. So on the way in there's actually some old building here. This was the train station. Maybe that's an old post box or something? Or a ticket machine? I'm not entirely sure. This place is so dead. It's just completely vandalised. All the good parts of the train station have been filled in including the old door, so that's a shame. Anyway guys, let's continue and find the entrance to the catacombs. I think I need to go that way. So let's go there now. We are in the Paris catacombs. Once I got to the entrance, I got speaking to a group of people who were also heading in. They were going to embark on an overnight explore, but after taking me part of the way in to the first room. Once we arrived, they gave me directions to head back, and this is where things went from good to bad. So guys, I just got a tour of the first room and now I'm heading back. I didn't film too much because many people down here hate tourists filming, so I didn't want to cause any trouble. Anyway, the guys I was with were so helpful and they gave me directions back, so yeah, hopefully it won't be too difficult.
There are chambers everywhere. It turned out I was wrong about it being easy. I was just 10 minutes in, I realised I was slightly lost. So, I know the exit is down there somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. Although the group had given me instructions, there were quite a few errors in the translation which didn't make any sense. And the maps that I had been given were invalid in certain sections due to recent collapses and blocked off tunnels. many ways to go. I don't know which one to choose. No idea what that means. I am seeing this graffiti on the way down, so that means we must be heading in that direction. Down here somewhere. Let's keep going. You can actually go that way, that is insane. I'll be giving that a miss today though. There's little... stag tights, whatever you call them, hanging off the wall. That's quite creepy. Some people actually crawl through there to get to other part of the catacombs, but... Wow. Just to prove I am alone. There's no one here. The people I was with went further, but I headed back, they gave me directions, but they've not worked too well because he was in pretty bad English because of course they are French, so they are not easy to follow, so I'm just going off what I've remembered from the way down. There's a lot of graffiti in this part of the tunnel, so I'm guessing this is close to the exit. I hope so. That's far up. At least it's an emergency exit if you need it, guys. That there is a massive drain, so... And that is quite deep as well, so I'm going to try to try and avoid that. We've now been in the catacombs for two hours. I've been lost for at least an hour now. So guys, I think I've just accepted that we are lost here, so... I'm trying my best to follow the instructions they've given me, but... There's thousands of miles of tunnels in here. I recognised where we are a few minutes ago, so... If I wasn't lost, I'd say we're only about five minutes away from the exit, but... I'm lost, so... We could be another few hours away. Although I knew I wasn't far from the exit, my mind was full of things that could go wrong. I could get lost, as people do every year, I could start to panic, which is perfectly natural, or I could even encounter some bad people, which many people have, and I feared I was about to. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, first, we uh, go south. Uh, wait, straight. Oh, wait. And then uh, there, no, you know, you go straight, and uh, then uh, it's like uh, 
right, uh, no, right or left. You go, you go, you go, you go. Yeah. And uh, uh, when you can't go further, it's left. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Merci. Okay. Au revoir. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. So I've just bumped into some other cat files down here. And look, they've told me the way out. So I'm going to try and follow these instructions and we should be there soon. I like another bit of machinery there. Whatever that is. So entrance there actually has a door. And it goes a long way down. These tunnels are endless. So I tried following that guy's instructions where he says walk and walk and walk until you can't go any further but there's just no end and I know as a fact that I didn't walk that far so I'm going to go back and try and retrace my steps again but it's not proven easy Dead end. We're lost. So, I've just recognised some markings on the wall that I saw on the way in, about two or three minutes in. So we are super close guys, but we're not there yet. I think that's where I need to go. So guys, I'm out now, and it feels amazing. I legit thought I was going to be like stuck in there overnight because it was pitch black. I didn't know where I was, I couldn't see much. And to top it off, the batteries in my torches were slowly beginning to die. So it wasn't looking good for me, but I genuinely say that was one of the craziest moments of my life. And it's not something I'll forget in a long time. The cat files that gave me the tour as well, they were so useful. Like, I wouldn't have gone that far without them. I didn't think I'd be that in there that long. It's now half two. I got in there about 11, so that means I've left three and a half hours. And I'd only planned to spend about half an hour in there. But the cat files were helpful. They did show me around the parts that I wanted to go to. Unfortunately, I wasn't going to read any instructions for their way back because it was incredibly broken English. But in the end, I managed to translate it and sort of understand what they were on about, so. Combined with that and tracing my steps, I did eventually find my way out, so... <sighs> Such a relief. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Thanks for watching.